All right, welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. If you're just stopping on in, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel and the snakes. If you guys have been here for a while, I do appreciate the ongoing supports for everything that you're doing for the channel and helping out uh, with the snakes, with the positivity and all the good comments and all of the help that you guys are giving me. So if you don't know what's going on, my green anaconda Mountain Dew is still sick, but she's looking a thousand times better than what she was doing a week and a half ago when I first made the video about how I thought she was uh, dying and not doing very well. So I'm um, still giving her medication every 48 hours. And so in this video, I'm gonna be feeding three boas and then giving her her medication. If you guys wanna watch that, you can stick around. Uh, it's not that interesting, but um, maybe it'll help you guys out if you ever have to give a snake an, um, an oral liquid medication. So it's super stressful for her, I'm sure. Stressful on me because I've never given a snake any type of medication, although I think this might be a little bit better than giving the shot because um, I think I'd be really worried about poking something that I'm not supposed to, going too deep into the skin, but a lot of people say giving shots are a lot easier than giving oral medication to a snake. And um, it probably is true because it's not easy. And I'm wearing gloves just because I don't want her to bite me. It hurts, I mean, it doesn't really hurt her, but it doesn't really feel good if she bites and I really don't want to be bleeding um, on the carpet or for the next hour, I don't want to deal with it. So she's been really good so far for the last couple doses that I've been giving her. She definitely does not like being grabbed behind the head and having her mouth being forced open, but she, she doesn't hiss at me. Um, she doesn't strike at me yet. Cross my fingers. Um, and I've kind and when I've, you know, cleaned out her cage and uh, changed her water, she's, she's been really good. She hasn't, you know, she's not resenting me or or hating me as of yet, but I still have another week uh, of the dosing and then I'll try to feed her again and hopefully a smaller meal. Hopefully I can get her on mice just to keep a meal down so I know that she's feeling better and that this air is out of her stomach and out of her intestines, which I have no idea how I got there, but I don't want to be rambling on too much. That's basically what's going on in the room. Other than her getting her medicine, nothing else has really changed. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll feed the female moon glow. And I do know that the moon glow does need to be on um, much larger mice. So I think I'm going to, I'm still going to keep the snow. So this is my male snow. I'm going to keep my male snow on this size right here, which I think is a hopper. And then I think I'm going to get adult mice for the moon glow and then the IMG. So the IMG is looking really good. Kind of probably hard to see since she's getting much darker without the light. So this is a Motley Hypo Jungle. And she's het for uh, snow. So, oh, there we go. Maybe at some point I could get an IMG um, albino male or just put the snow with her in the next four years. <laughs> So long, long wait on that. So while they're eating, um, I'll just move her over here. So I know I have a lot of Kate, a lot of totes and stuff just hanging out right now. Uh, still waiting for the ARS rack. I know they're backlogged and it's going to take everybody there a long time. I did not get it shipped because it's only about an hour and a half to two hours away. So, um, I'm just going to go and pick it up when it's ready. So hopefully that um, makes things a little bit easier for everybody. And then putting it together, I heard it takes like six hours. So it's definitely not easy. Um, I got comments on her tote. So when I'm giving her the medicine, I don't put any bedding or paper towels in here because she's not comfortable with me um, picking her up. And I don't want her to be wrapping around bedding or um 
a newspaper or the paper towel. So since she is sick, she is on paper towels just so if any bodily fluid weird comes out of her, I can see that because it might be hidden in um, some of this stuff right here. So that is why that happens. And then she is in her water right now. So we can see that she's still calm. She doesn't hate me. She still lets me hang out with her and pick her up. So I'm using two different types of medicine. And then we'll just come up here real quick so I can get the one. So this is basically just a supplement that I used. It's the Da Vinci. And then you can look up at Da Vinci Boa uh, Facebook or I think he has a website. But so I know you guys who saw the last two videos on her. Um, how she basically looked like she was drying out and her scales were cracking and basically looked like uh, sandpaper. Just a couple doses of this really cleared her up and we can see that as of right now. And then this is the medication that I am giving her every 48 hours. So 0.3 of the milliliters. And this is where it gets a little interesting because um, I have to hold her behind the back of the head or the jaws and um, kind of push a needle without a, without the uh, the needle part. So it's just a syringe. It's open on top. So I just have to push that down her throat, not getting it into her windpipe. And hopefully everything works out. So, man, this guy's going to town on that mouse. So definitely was hungry. All right. I hate doing this. I know she's gonna hate me, but we'll see what happens. All right, so when I did go to the vet, the vet did say she looked like she was in, other than that, was in pretty good health, looked like she was well taken care of, not really like any issues with her scales. I'm trying to get her, so, I mean, it just makes me nervous because I don't, want to hurt her and I feel like I'm messing up our trust that I took so long to work for and this is when she's gonna get agitated and basically try to try to bite me so I know I could be squeezing much much harder there we go down the throat just a little bit at a time And there we go. Boom. Done. Whew. Sorry, girl. I know that probably doesn't taste good and definitely doesn't feel good. So we'll uh, just let her kind of hang out for a little bit, calm down, because I know that was probably super stressful for her. Put the lid on her. And then once these... Oh, oh okay. I thought we totally missed him eating. But... For some reason, every single time, this IMG eats the mouse sideways. Every single time. Does not fail. So, super interesting to watch him eat. And then, I'll let her calm down for about an hour or two to put the water back in there. And relay some paper towels down. Because if... Um, Something comes up like blood, either end. I really want to know about it. She did pee. Um, normal, like the stool looked normal. But there was a little bit of redness with it. And I don't know if it was blood. I don't know if it was part of the medications. I don't know if it was um, just whatever air inside of her is messed up. But it only happened once and so far it's been good. She's alive. She, as you can see, she's super active, which is good, which is really good sign that she has the energy in her to um, basically fight back when I'm trying to give her the medication. So that's definitely, definitely good. So we'll just watch these girls um, maybe eat. I mean, they're really not doing very much, but I'll just kind of speed this up if they decide to eat. 
and um, that should be it. So I appreciate the support, and uh, we'll see what happens with these girls. Oh, well, the two girls and then the one guy. All right. He's definitely trying to eat. So this is seems like it's kind of messing with him a little bit. So that's kind of why I don't have it. I don't know. I'm, I know I'm kind of confusing on summer and paper towels, summer on repti chip. I don't know. I like both, but we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so we're going to end the video right here. Again, I just want to say I appreciate the support on the channel from everybody that's coming on through and uh, subscribing and giving good comments in the comments section. And I will see you guys on the next video.